Hello, everybody, and welcome back. This is Saurus. Uh, I'm sorry, Drifting Shade. Whatever you want to call me. I'm the dude that makes videos and pretty much acts like an idiot, so... That's me. What's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft. And, uh, it looks like it's daytime now, and it sounds like it, too, since the music's being all happy. So, uh, it doesn't look like anything happened, but... Um, let me just give you a little tour of my hidey hole. I upgraded it just a little bit here. I put some torches in here, as you can see. Um, I actually had to go out and chop down a tree and burn it for some charcoal. Um, and that's how I made the torches. So, um, here's the saplings that are left over. In fact, actually, in fact, let's go ahead and plant this tree back. There we go. There. Just so I can get it back. I really like to tend to keep a high stock of trees. So, uh... Anyway, in today's episode, we are going to be exploring this little uh, island and or continent that I'm on here, and uh, just kind of uh, kind of seeing what the world has to offer. Um, but right now, I'm going to grab a couple more logs just in case I need some more charcoal, in case I don't find any regular coal hanging around. I think four pieces ought to do for now. Um, I'm pretty sure I... Oh. <laughs> well, isn't Minecraft super generous? <laughs> oh my gosh, can't believe there's coal right around the corner from me. Uh, only a vein of three, it looks like, though, so that's... Oh, well, it's not too bad. It could could have been worse, but... Hey, at least I got three coal now. I'm happy. <laughs> I gotta make a chest here soon, too, so I can start putting my junk into it. Anyway, uh, as you can probably hear, I fixed the volume issues from uh, last episode, and, uh, oh my gosh. Cow, run away! He's gonna kill you! <laughs> Anyway, uh, I fixed my volume my volume issues from episode one that I was having, where the game decided to overpower my voice entirely. Um, and uh, hey, black sheep. And so I, I fixed that by upping the uh, the boost on my microphone, and uh, by lowering the game volume to about thirty percent. So um, the game volume is kind of quiet right now. But, uh, maybe I can find another way to balance it out just a little bit more, so... Um, I'm gonna put this right here so I can know which way is the way back. I'll just see that torch sitting there, um, and I'll be able to find my way back. Maybe I should make a beacon around above my house. I probably should. Yeah, this, this appears to be just a fairly large island. Um... Oh my gosh, this is gonna be crazy. We're gonna have to go sailing to find some more land before too long, but I think I'm actually going to make my home base on this island. Um, that's not a bad idea, and, uh, oh my gosh, there's just nothing but water everywhere. Okay, bones and arrows, nice. Could use those for later. Anyway, um, yeah, so apparently this this is just an island, so, yeah, this should be interesting to, uh, kind of see what we can do here with the island. I'm going to pick up some of these, uh, red roses here real quick. Whoop. Hit the rose, not everything around the rose. Jeez, come on, Mr. Drifting Shade, get with it. Or should I call you Saurus? I was, you know, I was trying so hard not to say Saurus in the intro, but I did anyway. <laughs> and, uh, it's just stupid that I, I said it, because I'm like, oh, I just changed my name to Drifting Shade, I want that to be my name now, not Saurus. <laughs> I mean, it's my character's name on here anyway, so... Uh, my online nickname is Drifting Shade for Minecraft, so I don't play online too much, but um, I'm hoping to get into a couple of really cool uh, games that I've seen so far, uh, i.e. Mind, Mind to Crack and a couple other ones, but you have to be kind of a big YouTube star to get into Minecraft, though, so I, I highly doubt that I will ever get into that, but, uh, well, you never know, so... Actually, let's. I'm making a sugar cane farm. In case you guys didn't notice, I'm just talking, just talking, because that's you know what I do. Anyway, so uh, as you can see, I gained a little bit of experience off camera, uh, as well as getting all that coal, or well, the charcoal rather, um, and uh, that was just so I wouldn't bore you guys to death with my little weird adventures. But um, let's see here. I'm just looking around here. There's some... Oh, no, there's some more uh, sugar canes out there. Maybe, I, maybe I'll maybe i go grab those soon. I don't know. I'm going to have to make a boat here soon and uh, start sailing out into the wild blue yonder to see if I can find any more land. It looks like there's something way out there. Uh, maybe that's just part of the island, though. I, I 
think I was over there. I'm not sure. My home should be right over here somewhere. I think I just went in a full circle. So that's always good. <laughs> but anyway, uh, here in a few episodes, I'm going to be uh, gathering up a bunch of resources and building a house. And uh, I'm not very good at building in Minecraft. Getting a little hungry. Uh, I'm not very good at building in Minecraft, but I'm definitely going to try to build some stuff. So, uh, and I, don't worry, I will be exploring these little holes you've been seeing around. Uh, I just gotta get, I don't know, I've really gotta get prepared for that before I do it. I'm gonna light this up so I don't get anybody surprising me from in there. Anyway, let's uh, head back inside for a little bit, and we're going to, since I have those three pieces of coal, I'm just going to make some more wood, and uh, I'm going to use that to make a chest. Actually, let's make two chests, and um, that way I'll have a double chest right off the bat here, and I can just uh, put all this junk that I don't need inside of it, so... Yeah, let's put the sugar canes, saplings, uh, we'll put that in there for now, the apples, rotting flesh, just in case I get a little wolf companion, I can uh, feed the rotting flesh to them, um, put a couple of stacks of this cobble in there, um, bones and arrows can go into, I'll bust out my dirt, just in case, um, there we go, a little inventory management, that's always fun, isn't it, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's, uh, hmm, let's see. What I want to do is I want more coal before I go exploring, because I'm going to need a lot more torches than just 19, so, um, I'm going to get some charcoal going here, and, uh, then I think we might head down into some of these depths, some of these cavernous depths, and, uh, just kind of see what it holds for us. I should have brought a sapling. Are you going to drop a sapling for me? Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. Uh, oh well, that's okay. I'll just replant it later. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm going to make about five pieces of charcoal here. I'm going to use a couple of sticks to burn it with. Because uh, I really don't like using my coal to make charcoal. Doesn't seem like the most productive thing to do anyway. But, uh, yeah. Oh, jeez burns through those sticks really fast, just doesn't it? Interesting. It's too bad that charcoal and coal don't really stack, but they are a different... Uh, I guess they're obtained in different ways. One is, you know, naturally through the game, and then the other is not, so... Um, while that's burning, I'm gonna dig a little bit right here, actually. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm gonna make a couple of picks... Yeah, I like to have a lot of stone picks on hand just so that way I can uh, keep digging through all this cobble and stuff like that. And uh, if I had any iron, I would definitely make an iron pick because uh, that would be very helpful, um, especially if I happen to run into uh, any of the higher up resources like uh, redstone or diamonds, gold, anything like that. So emeralds, lapis lazuli, lap lazu, lazu, whatever. The blue one. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, dig down here a little bit, and uh, I'm going to turn this into just a one by one staircase instead of two by one. That takes a little bit less time to get down into. But anyway, um, uh, let's see. I hope the volume issues are gone in this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play so far. Uh, don't worry, it will get more exciting as time goes on. The beginning of Minecraft isn't exactly the most adventurous thing in the world, but um, apparently there's not much down here besides gravel. So um, if I can get a couple pieces of flint, that would be nice. But uh, I'm not even sure if I've been getting that. Ooh, hello! First iron of the game right here. Oh, oh, and there's gravel everywhere. Okay, i got to get rid of that. There we go. Yes! First pieces of iron! Yes! That makes me so happy. I love iron. It's uh, my favorite resource, actually. Uh, one of the most useful ones, actually. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody already knew that, and I almost got squished by gravel. <laughs> anyway, I'm pretty sure everybody already knew that iron is definitely one of the most useful resources in the game. But, uh, there you go. A little review from Drifting Shade there. <laughs> yeah. But... Anyway, so, um, why don't you guys, uh, while you're 
waiting for me to actually run into anything interesting here. Hey, Cole. Um, go ahead and put down in the comments what you'd like to see in the Let's Play. Um, I know there's probably not a lot of people watching this right now, so I will try to accommodate most requests. Um, just because I'm a nice guy, I like to uh, take suggestions. I like constructive criticism. Uh, I like it when people, you know, uh, constructively criticize me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so go ahead and just put down in the comments what you want to see in this Let's Play, uh, what kind of stuff you'd want to want me to do or build or see, uh, stuff like that. If you want the seed for this, I can, I'd be more than happy to uh, provide that for you. Uh, this map seems very interesting so far. Um, I'm really curious as to what's off of this island, though, so maybe uh, here in the near future I'm probably going to be building a boat and uh, just kind of seeing what kind of stuff I can find out there in the deep blue sea yonder rific place whatever whatever you want to call it wild blue yonder I guess is what it's called oh there goes my pick see this is why I like to have a lot of picks I should have made a shovel before I came down here too but uh, for now I think this is good because I just got some iron and plenty of coal and I'm gonna smelt up some of this iron and uh, that charcoal was pretty useless actually now <laughs> that, I, that I think about it but um, oh well that's okay ooh and I left my door wide open and it's nighttime that's not good <laughs> jeez yeah what not to do when you're playing Minecraft kids don't leave your door wide open monsters can walk in and destroy your life so anyway yeah, we're gonna smelt some iron up here we got 21 coal now that's nice let's uh, make a few more torches here and get prepared for our adventure down into the deep cavernous depths of this island see what kind of mysteries it holds shall we mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yes we shall <laughs> ah, I'm such an idiot all right so uh, let's see here how dangerous is it out here right now not very interesting well, I guess uh, it's just barely turning night so I guess we do have a little bit before the monsters come out to play so that's always good um, Let's see. I think one of the caves was out that way, so I'm probably going to go head out there in just a minute here. And uh, I'm going to leave my iron ingots in here, that's for sure. Uh, we don't want to lose those. Not at all. So, we got one more coming up here. I'm going to take my charcoal back. There we go. And I'll put that in there. Got four pieces of food. That should be okay for now. Uh, for the small adventure I'm planning, it shouldn't be too bad. So, what do we need? Shovel. I just need a shovel real quick. And then we'll be well on our way to heading underground. Very risky going out at night like this. But that's okay. I'll survive. Ideally. And I'm going to light up this place, my little pathway, as I go along here, just so I can hightail it back if I have to. And here's the cave. Fantastic. I'll put a little couple of torches around it actually just to kind of indicate where it is all right let's see here uh, let's get rid of this get rid of that steps tiny little steps on the way down the cave oop, oop, we don't want to do that there we go yeah here we go now we're rocking and rolling out down on this cave I like to put um, I like to do what Paul Sores Jr. does uh, again I don't know if I mentioned this in my previous video um, but he is one of the main inspirations for me for uh, making uh, these YouTube mi uh, Minecraft Let's Play Minecraft videos, um, and uh, he's an awesome guy in general. Um, if you haven't seen any of his videos, go check it out. I can put that link in the description below for you. Um, in fact, I will, and he should be on my featured channels list on my uh, on my YouTube channel. So uh, that's always good. Put that torch there. There we go, now we're making a little staircase here. Anyway, uh, yeah, he is definitely one of my biggest inspirations for doing this, uh, for making these Minecraft videos, and uh, my biggest reason for wanting to get on the Minecraft server. Um, it, Minecraft is a vanilla survival mode server, so I, I definitely want to play that because... Uh, ooh, more coal, nice. Um, it's, you know, just because it's, uh, it's cool. I, I like vanilla. I really like vanilla. I'd, I've never played any mods with Minecraft before. Um, I've only done vanilla stuff. So, anyway, 
Well guys, um, unfortunately this is our 15 minute mark here, so I'm going to have to shut it off here. Ooh, very nice find here. I will uh, probably pick up some of this stuff, and we'll pick up here where I left off, and we're going to see what's back in there. Again, thank you so, so much for watching everybody. This has been Drifting Shade, aka Saurus, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, take care, and goodbye.